Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a sunshade uh, for your LCD screen for your camera that does not have an electronic viewfinder. You know, a lot of these little cameras now, they don't have a, an electronic viewfinder. All they have is this screen to look at, or even on the still cameras, the same thing. They just have a screen. And outside in the sun, <laughs> that doesn't always work. And if you have a camera that's got a real high powerful zoom on it, you really do need a viewfinder to see what you're capturing. So I'm just going to tell you about it. I don't have any photos because I'm not really into video editing so much anymore. But this whole thing will set you back about 20 bucks. This is what it looks like, the finished product and it really works good. First thing you need, this here, the bottle, this is a Johnson & Johnson 4 ounce baby powder bottle. So you get yourself the 4 ounce Johnson & Johnson baby powder bottle and um, I painted it black right away although you'll have to scrape some of the paint away later I'll show you how. The next thing I did was I got this uh, to make an eyepiece, a rubber eyepiece. I got a cut the back side off of a toilet flapper. This one I used happened to be called Corky was the brand and it has a hole on one end of it already that fits perfectly around the mouth of the Johnson & Johnson baby powder bottle perfect snug fit. You don't need to glue it. You don't need any adhesive or straps or anything. It just fits right on there. It's a perfect fit. Now, in my case, I wanted to have a um, an eyepiece that acts as a corrective lens because, as you can see, I wear glasses. Um, I tried a lot of different ones. This is where I did the most research and some people I've seen have tried using those little flat uh, things they sell at the pharmacy for reading books, but I tried that and the resolution just really wasn't that good. Uh, what I did end up using was, this is called an OptiLoop, this little piece of glass here, this lens, and it's a 2.5x lens it's high resolution you're gonna it's a it's a beautiful lens for this application and it happens to fit perfectly inside here so what it is uh, it's made by a company called Donegan optical they make these uh, visors that you've seen and the opti loop is actually an add-on. I got a printout from their website. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a little add-on um, magnifier that they sell for their um, glasses. Now you can get these typically at electronic supply houses, jewelry supply, stone and gem, anywhere that they sell fine uh, delicate delicate work type of uh, equipment. Anyway, the OptiLoop, uh, if you cut the frame, it comes in a, I know it's hard to see, but it comes in a little plastic frame, and if you cut the frame, it's not glued in or anything, so it comes out real easy, and then it fits perfectly in there, just like it was made for it. So in order to keep it in there, what I did was I folded back the rubber and I glued it. I used crazy glue and I glued it right to the neck of the bottle, the mouth of the bottle. You can use silicone, whatever suits you. And in order to find the exact distance, now here's what you need to do. You need to cut the end of the bottle off because that's you're going to use this as your viewfinder, but you need to have the right length for your vi your particular vision. Now, if you have perfect vision, you can skip this part about the lens. But uh, in my case, I wanted a corrective lens. So what I did was I took the lens out of its uh, opti loop housing, and I held it up to my eye, 
and then using a ruler, I just moved up and down while I was looking at the menu. Put the menu on on your camera screen and find out exactly what length you need. Then that's the length that you need to cut the bottle to. So in my case, the full length of the bottle happened to be just perfect. Just perfect. And I think I have typical middle-aged vision, so it's, it may suit a lot of people. Okay, then, in order to uh, keep this uh, device from scratching the screen, I got some uh, fuzzy side of the uh, Velcro, sticky back Velcro, and I put it, you can get it in black too, <laughs> but I just put it all around the bottom so that the sharp edge of the bottle that I cut won't uh, scratch the screen when I put it on the camera screen. So I have a nice, and then, then the best way to check it, because when you put this down and you try to look, it's dark in there. So the best way to check that you actually got the focus right is to put the menu on, on your uh, camera screen, and then put this up there and see that it's good. Now, like I said, I had to chip away some of the paint, and the reason is uh, I decided to add these little clips. I don't know if you can see these. I know the focus is bad but these are little wire clips that I got from Radio Shack and what those are for is if I take my camera and I put a rubber band here and I put the viewfinder on here I can then with the rubber bands and I use two rubber bands here that I put around the camera and whoops got it backwards <laughs> okay so I have one rubber band on one side and then on the other side I put a rubber band and now I have a uh, I actually have a camera with a viewfinder that I can look through and I can just use and carry around. Uh, so I had to scrape the paint away uh, right here and then glue the, the wire clip on there with just a couple of rubber bands. And what's nice is because, like I said, if you wear glasses, now I don't have to wear my glasses. I can just walk around and I've automatically got a corrective lens built right into my viewfinder, my sunshade, where I can now look uh, at whatever the heck it is I want to shoot. Okay, so that's it. And uh, I'll probably come back again at some other time, bringing you some either some kind of, you know, play my guitar or show you some computer tricks I've learned or some new invention I've got I've got another invention here I'm going to sh share with you sometime this is my clamp pod and it's basically a big vice grip with a tripod head on it anyway that'll be in another video all right I hope this helps you guys out I'll tell you one thing this like I said this whole thing will set you back about 20 bucks but, uh, boy, what a nice little tool this is. Okay, and thanks for watching.